So how funny can you draw out this paper? And what is looking at is Botox and below knee amputation for perioperative contracture. It's a systematic review. Now, the systematic review doesn't find too many articles. So what it does find, no surprise, is that Botox is really some wonderful medicine for post-operative contractures, right? And the effect because they work for 12 weeks don't interfere with any other function. So what's that spectacular? You know, the thing is, if you're doing rehab properly and meeting a physiatrist, you shouldn't have contractions. If a person has contractions post-amputation, then there's a real problem with these people are being managed. Again, if they have a contracture, we know that these contracts are not hypertonic. That they're not hypertonic, blocking the neuromuscular junction may not be the right thing to do, but you would definitely have hyaluronin deposition in these people. And hyaluronin can actually make the muscles stiff. So a traditional teaching is you don't inject a contractor with Botox, but you can definitely do a hyaluron base inside of it. And that can help. So what's the value of this paper? Basically, it's showing us the company's desperate, trying to get more and more indications for their thing. And they're saying the literature to show that it works, but I'm not really convinced. Botox is a very good drug. It does do its job. But you have to use the right drug in the right patient at the right time. And if you start using it for everything else, that's a bit of a problem because you'd be compromising and not using the right stuff for that same condition.